and welcome to another edition of War Room for Courageous Wives. And um, I'm here to give you um, your daily marriage confession affirmation. But before I do, I just wanted to um, give you some words of encouragement um, because we're only on day four um, of our um, affirmations and confessions. And, you know, a couple, that baby in the background is my 13 month old. So if you hear him, uh, just know that that's Micah. He's with me. So today is going to be very raw. <laughs> um, I don't have many notes, but like I started to say, I just wanted to encourage you before um, we get into our confession because. I just want to remind you that we're in a spiritual battle here. Um, and, and you may say, oh, you know, my marriage is great. I'm not in a battle, um, you know, for, so I'm going to say this two ways. For those of you that have a wonderful marriage and you may not be going through anything quite as critical right now, praise God, because, but stay the course because the enemy is lurking and he will um, attack at any time because he hates marriage just remember that he hates marriage so you want to be um, geared up you want to have your um, armor of God already on and ready and ready to fight back because he will strike and when he strikes you want to be ready uh, and you want to um, to have that that hedge that fortress around your marriage that shield of protection that I think I've mentioned on a couple um, shows before um, because when you enter this marriage when you enter your role as a wife you are entering a covenant with God um, it becomes less about your husband and how he treats you it's more about your promise to God and what he's instructed us as wives to do according to his word so we have a promise to God that we have to um, hold and a covenant to him to do things his way and it's a good thing because once we do things his way things work out better anyway um, it just, it works out the way he intended it to work out, which is for us to have a beautiful marriage, a beautiful life, and to enjoy things. Um, you know, everything works out for our good. Um, so, but when you're on this journey, it is a spiritual battle because the enemy, um, as I just mentioned, hates marriage and his goal is to kill, steal, and destroy. Um, you know, Ephesians 6 and 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmetic powers of this darkness, against evil spiritual forces in the heavens. This is a spiritual battle. Whether your marriage is good and going amazing, thriving or barely surviving, you're in a spiritual battle. Know, know who your enemy is and fight him. Your enemy is not your husband or anyone else that's interfering in your marriage or your family. That isn't your enemy. Satan is your enemy. And you have to fight him. You know, that's how Jesus defeated Satan while he was fasting. He just kept saying, you know, for it is written, you know, so don't stop speaking the word over your husband, over your family, over yourself. Satan's already defeated. He just doesn't want us to know that. <laughs> but he already is defeated. Um, and when we fast, when we pray, when we speak God's word over our family, when we're standing on God's word, when we're confessing, um, you know, uh, these uh, faith-filled affirmations, when we're, when we're doing those things, the enemy is going to crank up the heat. <laughs> He is. Things are going to start happening that are going to be strange. Like, oh, that's normal. Or you're going to discover things like, huh? You know, that's going to try to tear you down. That's going to try to get you off of your path. But praise God because it's working. What you're doing in the spiritual realm is working. So don't be discouraged. Be excited because God is fighting for you. He's on your side. And the enemy, he's he's sweating, he's shaking because he's like, oh my gosh, she's starting to pray. She's she's reading what God said. She's standing on God's word. She, she's 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 understanding. She's 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 figuring things out. She's not sitting here and, and allowing things to just to just fall apart. She's fighting back. She's fighting you, devil. <laughs> she's fighting the enemy. She's fighting the real enemy. So don't be discouraged. Trust God. The enemy is trying to tear us down. So just pray and surrender it all to God. Every time I fast, um, things get so much harder because the enemy hates it, you guys. But I'm encouraging you to press on. It means that you're doing something in the spiritual realm. 
okay? Pray harder. Praise harder. Speak more words of affirmation. These words and, and, and uh, confessions that we give you in the morning, um, say them all throughout the day. Stand stronger on God's word. When a negative thought comes to your head, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Say what God says. Don't rebuke the lies of the enemy. You know, if, if your your husband starts tripping all of a sudden, you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm praying, but he's acting a fool. It's not your husband. It's the enemy. He's he's cranking up the heat. So you crank up the heat. You know, you, you start praying more. You start praising God more. You stay planted. You pray and fast. You confuse the enemy. He's like, what? Wait, I, I'm, I'm trying to throw her off, but she's still praising God. She's still doing that. She's still confessing the word, you know. Uh, her husband just said something negative about her. He just said something uh, to ter- to totally just should break her. But she's still confessing that her marriage is, is one built on a solid rock. She's still confessing that her and her husband are a team and united and nothing so- should tear them apart. What? <laughs> Crank up the heat too when he cranks it up. Keep on keeping on. Don't fall for the enemy's lies. Because trust me, you guys, the more you confess the God's word over your marriage and over your husband, the more the enemy is going to press into you. The more he's going to even try to try to come after your husband. He's going to be telling your husband lies to try to to try to trip you up, to try to trip you up on your emotions. He's going to be telling you lies. When he knows he can't get to your mind, he's going to go to the next thing. He he'll, he'll try it with your husband. He may try it with your mama. He may try it with whoever. You know? He's going to attack your mind. All of our minds. He's with his lies and tricks and schemes. But we're we're one step ahead of him. God gave gave us supernatural strength. The breakthrough is coming soon in Jesus' name. So whether you're building a fortress and you're building protection around your marriage or whether you're standing for your marriage to to make a change and to be what God called it to be, stay the course. Don't give in. God gave you supernatural strength. Let God do the work. Stay the course. That's my encouragement for today. Stay the course. Your faith is being tested. Are you going to believe the affirmations that you're saying or are you going to believe the lies of the enemy? Um, one of my favorite ministers, Joyce Meyer, she has a really good uh, sermon on um, trusting God when you don't understand, you know, trusting God when things don't make sense. I encourage you to look that uh, sermon up on YouTube um, and I think it's also on her website. It's it's a really good um, sermon and it's one that speaks um, to what I'm saying right now. Um, sometimes, you know, you, you feel you know, completely trapped, overwhelmed, um, you feel like there's no solution in sight, um, you know, maybe you've been confronted with a challenge, and you feel like there's no resolution, um, I know many times my heart has been heavy with doubt, it, you know, as I can't figure things out, I don't know what to do next, I feel stuck, um, and I just encourage you to just stay planted, continue to, to speak words of affirmation, come, uh, continue to confess God's word over your marriage, over your husband, continue to stay the course, continue to pray, continue to fast, um, you know, praise God, worship him. Um, you know, sometimes we're on, um, uh, like an emotional roller coaster, you know, whether, you know, we're wondering like, you know, how can things change for the better? Like I'm praying and saying these things and nothing's changing. It's only getting worse, you know? Um, But we have to also remember that, you know, impossibles are the platforms on which God performs his best work. You know, have faith, um, you know, with men, with man, um, things may seem impossible. It looked like, you know, there's no help. There's no end. But with God, all things are possible. Stay the course. Hello, Courageous Wives. Before we get to our confession for today, I do have to interrupt. I'm so sorry, but you will thank me later because I'm here to tell you about this amazing platform, 
Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. So if you're like me and you have a lot to say or you have a lot in your mind and you just want to get it off your chest, maybe starting a podcast is something that you can do too. It's free. Um, There's creation tools that allows you to record, distribute, and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Um, And Anchor will also help you distribute your podcast so that you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more. Um, You can make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. I mean, that's super cool, right? Especially if you're just starting out like me. Um, It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Okay, back to it. Today's affirmation is according to 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. I will be patient and kind towards my husband. I will not be boastful, rude, or keep a record of his wrongdoings. I will never give up on him, but always cheer him in faith.